Hello everybody. In this video I am sharing a 15 minute exercise for your abdominal wall incorporated with your breath so you can understand how you will use your abdominal wall in a functional manner. This is very good for many of the lower back issues because most people have the lower back issues because they do not have the support from the abdominal wall. So in order to make this long story short, in a nutshell, every bone in your body has two muscles to make it functional in a way that you can move. And the very basic example of this, let's look at the arm. You have the bicep and you have the tricep, which makes it makes your arm move in a functional way. And I am oversimplifying this, but it's the same thing with your spine. So let's say your spine has the back muscles and the abs. And then when they move together, you can move in the world in a supported way. But most of the time, the abs are actually not functional. So the load are not being carried by the abs. It shifts to your lower back. And then over time, this creates a lot of lower back issues. So in order to make sure that your spine is being supported on both sides, we are going to try to shift the work from the lower back to your abdominal wall so you can engage your abdominal wall in a functional manner. Hope you enjoy the practice. Welcome everybody. Today we will focus on the abdominal wall activation and making sure that the abs are working functionally in relation to first and foremost your breath. So please lie down on your back comfortably and keep a chair or a support like the bench that I have here ready to be used. But before that, lie on your back with your feet flat on the floor. Bend your knees. You can bring your hands on your stomach or you can put one hand on the stomach and one hand on the chest. And start to move your feet, just mulking your feet back and forth, ever so slightly. Your feet are not lifting higher than one or one and a half inch of the floor. Little baby steps, like toe taps or the heel taps. So you can feel the abdominal wall engagement with not much weight. Generally, the problem with the abs or activating the abs is you put too much weight on it and then the other stabilizers, like your psoas, has to kick in. So make this very minuscule, very little motions and notice how the abs, especially the lower abs, are kicking in and out. After you walk your feet back and forth enough times, stop and bring the support back underneath your legs. Your knees are bent and then rest your legs on the support. Here you can use a sandbag or a few pounds of rice, any grain, doesn't matter. And then put it on your lower abs so you can have more feedback. Your muscles will know that they have weight on them and they will be more willing to work. And it does help a lot if you put some weight. But if you do not have it or if you do not choose to, that's no problem. I will just put the weight aside for this practice so you can see the abdominal wall and the abs moving a little bit more clearly. Here you can put your hands on your stomach as well. But I will put my hands on my chest so again you can see my abs working. Before we begin, let's start to explore different parts of the lungs before tapping into the lower abs. Let's breathe all the way to the throat using the topmost part of the lungs. Breathing to the top of the lungs and breathe out. Notice how this feels. This is the run and panic place. This is the place where you breathe when you are in a panic situation. So breathe to the throat. Notice how that feels. Breathing out. One more time. Breathe all the way to the top of the lungs. Using the auxiliary neck muscles and breathing out. Excellent. Let's shift this to the intercostals. Now breathe towards the middle of the ribs, to the front and to the sides. This is more the emotional part of the lungs. Inhale to the front of the lungs and exhale slowly. Notice how the ribs move, the ribcage expand out and about. Breathing 
in and out, sternum widens, ribs widen, rib cage widen. One more here, inhale, slowly exhale to the middle part of the lungs. Very nice. Now start to bring your awareness to the lower part of your lungs and inhale towards your belly. And in the beginning it will be more accessible to feel the exhales. As you exhale, press the abs in, pushing the diaphragm back and up. It does help to know the shape of the diaphragm. So on your free time, just Google the shape of the diaphragm. Google images help a lot. Inhale belly rising, diaphragm contracting on itself, stretching towards the hips, exhale slowly, press the abs in, push the diaphragm back and up. Now focus on your exhales a little bit more now that you know that the three different parts of your lungs, we are going to solely try to use the bottom part of the lungs. So bring your awareness to your breath and as you exhale, towards the end of the exhale, contract the abs a little bit more and push the air out a little bit longer. Inhale, let this be natural. Inhaling almost instinctively. Exhale, press the abs in just ever so slightly. And you start to feel like your lower back is trying to get more flat towards the floor. In the third one, we will push it completely. So inhale again, very natural, ever so slightly. Notice the motion of your abs, slightly widening. Exhale, contract the abs and press your lower back flat on the floor. Very nice. So this is the two-part breathing. As you inhale, start to arch your lower back a little bit. Inhale, expand the abs, arching the back. Inhale fully towards your hands or the sandbag. Exhale, please. Now contract the abs slowly. Push the lower abs in and down. Spine flat, lower back flat, middle back flat. Even the shoulder blades flat on the floor. Inhale, please. First relax and then start to push the stomach up, almost pushing the tail, pubic bone down, expanding the abdominal wall. Exhale, contract the abs, press the abs in and down, push the lower back, sacrum and the middle back flat on the floor, even the shoulder blades. Inhale. Belly up, a little bit of an arch in the lower back. Exhale, initiate this from the abs, press the abs in, lower back down, middle back down. But in the meanwhile, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Very nice. Inhale, please. Push your belly button up. Expanding the lower abs, a little bit of an arch in your lower back. Exhale, contract the abs. Push the stomach in and down. As if the tip of the tailbone lifted on the, off the floor, lower back flat. Inhale again, expand the abdominal wall. Inhale as low and as deep as possible. Exhale, contract the abs again. Only use your abdominal wall to push the spine flat on the floor. Relax your hamstrings, relax your thighs, relax your neck. Inhale again. Let's do this three more times. Allow the stomach lift up, arching your lower back. Exhale, contract the abs, lower back down, middle back down. Relax everything else in the body, just working with the abdominal wall. Two more. Inhale, allow the abdominal wall expand. Breathing towards the navel, breathing towards the pubic bone. A little bit of an arch in the lower back. Exhale, contract the abs, press the abs in. Lower back flat, 
middle back flat, shoulder blades flat. Let's do this one last time. Inhale, push the stomach, allow the belly expand, a little bit of an arch in the lower back. Push the pubic bone down. Exhale, contract the abs again, pressing the abdominal wall towards the spine. And your spine is being pressed on the floor, lower back flat, middle back flat. Excellent, everybody. Relax and breathe normally a few times. This was the two part. Now we are going to incorporate two more parts into this. Push the support or the chair away from your feet and get your feet flat on the floor. Now the same way, the first two parts are the same. Inhale, arch the lower back. And you exhale, contract the abs, press the abs down, lower back, middle back flat on the floor. Now inhale again, arch your back again, very normal, push the belly up, push the belly button up. Now the next time you start to exhale, contract the glutes this time, push your sit bones against each other. As you exhale, push the hips off the floor. Very nice. Inhale back down slowly from the top to the bottom of the spine. Let the spine settle on the floor. Push the belly wide. Exhale, contract the abs. Push the lower back flat on the floor. Inhale again, arching the lower back. Expanding the abs. Now at the beginning of the exhale, contract the glutes and exhale. Press the tailbone, press the sacrum up. Not too much though, do not arch the lower back. Get your lower back in a flat, straight position. Contract the hips and keep them contracted. Inhale, relax back on the floor. Rest the spine on the floor. Hips down more, belly wide more. Exhale, contract the abs. Push the abdominal wall down. Press the lower back flat on the floor. Inhale again, expand the abs. Lower back arching, stretching the abdominal wall. Exhale, contract the hips and start to lift the hips, tailbone off the floor, sacrum off the floor. Keep your hips contracted. Starting the inhale, lower the spine, lower the hips down, stretching the abdominal wall, wider belly. Exhale, contract the abs, press the lower back flat on the floor. Inhale again, abdominal wall expanding, arch the lower back, push the stomach up. Exhale, contract the hips and with the exhale, push the hips up to the ceiling, stretching the lower back, keeping it flat. Okay, inhale down, this is the part one, inhale, abdominal wall engaging. Exhale, part two, contract the abs, lower back flat on the floor. Inhale, part three, arch the lower back, push the belly up, expanding the abdominal wall. Exhale, part four, start with the hips, contract the hips, press the sit bones against each other and push the hips off the floor just a little bit, keep the hips contracted. Inhale, hips down. Exhale, abs in. Push the lower back flat. Inhale, arch the lower back, abdominal wall up to the ceiling. Exhale, contract the hips and push the hips off the floor. 
Inhale down, relax in the belly, stretching the abs. Exhale, contract the abs, push the sacrum down, push the lower back flat on the floor. Inhale again, arch the lower back, expand the abs, full lungs to the bottom of the lungs. Exhale, contract the hips and with the exhale, push the hips up to the ceiling a few inches off the floor. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, hips back, settle the spine, expand the abs. Exhale, contract the abs, tuck the tailbone, press the lower back flat on the floor. Inhale again, expand the abdominal wall, push the stomach up, arching the lower back. And exhale, start with the hips, contract the hips, tailbone up, sacrum up. And this time keep your hips up, keep your hips contracted. Breathe here a few more times as your hips are staying up. Feel the glutes contracting underneath your sit bones. Still breathing towards your lower abs. Holding it a few more seconds here. Keep the hips contracted. You are stretching your lower back. Pull your tailbone towards the knees. Very nice. Slowly as you inhale, relax the hips back on the floor. If the support is still near, stretch your legs back on the support. Using a little bit of gravity to help you with your circulation. A little bit of inversion. And notice how you breathe here. Allow the body to breathe in and out effortlessly. Relax your legs, relax your feet. Relax your palms, relax your arms. Relax your neck, relax your face. Breathing in, breathing out. Rest your awareness on your belly. And completely relax, please. When you are ready, you can bend your knees and roll to your right side to let the practice settle in as your practice is complete. And when you feel ready, you can press your hand against the floor to come to a seated position. Thank you very much for practicing everybody, taking care of your lower back, activating your abs,